Cryptocurrency markets continue to extend losses due to unabated withdrawal pressure on the back of another exchange Genesis suspending withdrawals in its lending business after facing abnormal withdrawal requests in the aftermath of the FTX collapse. So, the withdrawal requests exceeded current liquidity at the Genesis Global Capital, the lending arm reported Bloomberg that was actually the scene which happened in the uh, in the bankrupt exchange FTX. So, however, it was also noted that the US economic indicators failed to provide support to the cryptocurrency market despite a 1.3% jump in the retail sales. That's what the analysts are saying. So, IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading lower by 2.2% at 24,400 points. So, if you talk about the overall global cryptocurrency market that registered another day of decline due to the collapsed FTX and the ripple effect, the cumulative market cap is down by 2% over the past 24 hours. The total cap, market cap, actually stands at $824 billion. And if you talk about the total trading volume in the last 24 hours has dropped by around 5%, which is at $58 billion. However, investors are worried about the broader impact of the financial sector as venture capital firm Temasek, which is actually the Singapore Sovereign Wealth Fund as well, that manages about $300 billion, is the next after Sequoia to write off roughly around $275 million in investments to FTX and FTX US. And this is the reason why, you know, market is actually drifting lower because of uh, the ripple effect. And there are a lot of other uh, big venture capitalist firm, wealth firms who are actually declaring their assets or their exposure in FTX. So the US equities were trading lower as uh, if you talk about the broader uh, financial sector, uh, the losses have, are on the back of oil and gas technology which propelled prices of the shares lower. That's what analysts are saying. Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.12%. S&P 500 index fell around 0.9%. And Nasdaq was, uh, was trading lower by 1.54%. So, world's largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, was trading at $16,520, down one point. 4%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was trading down by 3.4% at 1,192, testing that 1,200 uh, resistance zone. So, if you talk about the other altcoins, Binance BNB was down 3% at $265. So, next on the list is Polygonmatic, which was trading down by 5% at $0.88. If, uh, if Let me give you a brief background, you know, what has actually happened. Because of FTX, and the broader concern, there was a, so there was an exposure in Solana by the Alameda Research. And, and we have seen a broad-based selling in Solana. And because of this Solana's broad-based selling, there are a couple of other blockchains or the ecosystem players who have benefited. So that's what market analysts are saying. Ethereum and Polygon are the biggest beneficiary of this fall. Solana Sol was next on the list, which we are talking about. It's down 0.5% and was trading at $14. So we have seen an extended selling in Solana, which was roughly around 65%. Post that, there was, we have seen a buying activity in, in Solana as well. Cardano's ADA token was down by 3.8% to trade at $0.32. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 3.5% at $0.084. This was, we have seen a, a broad-based buying in, in Doge coin after optimism over the Twitter deal. And uh, we have seen some, some of the buying cooling off, you know, because of the broader FTX impact on the market. Shiba Inu was trading down by 3.2% and uh, next on the list was Avalanche FX was trading at $13, down by 2%. Ripple XRP token was at $0.37, down by 2.8%. Polkadot was last on the list, was down by 3.8%, was trading at $5. So that's all there is in today's Coin Monitor. This is Manoj Dara signing off. But keep watching 3.0 TV for more such fundamental insights. Thank you.